Well, welcome from the great state of Maine. Uh, it's wonderful to be able to, to address uh, a lot of old friends and uh, the greater uh, Quintessay community. Uh, congratulations, Coach Locke. Uh, we're incredibly proud of you, uh, excited for you, and happy for you. It uh, certainly is a special honor. Uh, there's a lot of cliches in sports, and uh, one being it's uh, no greater honor to have somebody to, pay, to watch you play, uh, to be voted a major award by your peers or teammates, and for a coach to uh, have a building, and especially one that uh, has so much tradition in it, named after you, is, is just wonderful. It seems like yesterday that I was walking the halls of uh, the school, and uh, at the end of classes, uh, uh, running out, sprinting out, uh, to go down that long hill to get ready for, uh, for practice. Um, so as, as we all know, uh, the years do go by fast. So to be sitting here uh, after uh, nearly a 40-year NCAA career uh, and to thinking, uh, thinking about you, it seems like only yesterday that we were together. You, you probably don't remember, but one uh, afternoon going out to practice, you grabbed me and uh, pulled me aside and started to talk about uh, what you thought, you had a vision and what thought my talents, uh, talents and uh, skills that I had uh, are projected would, uh, would be suited for coaching. And again, I remember that for a long time and uh, that certainly uh, stayed with me and lo and behold, it's 40 plus years later that that came true. And I, at that moment, I, I remember it was like yesterday, what you were wearing, what the day was like and what the setting was like and I appreciate you for that. And one of your crowning ac accomplishments, uh, along with Coach Sisson, building uh, not only a vibrant and uh, successful athletic program at Quinney High, um, but to have established and built uh, one of the more iconic uh, programs in the greater uh, Belleville area and that had far-reaching uh, reputation uh, throughout the province. And that's our Quinney Saints uh, football team, senior football team. Um, the standards and expectations set by you and Coach and success and accomplishments of that program still resonates to this day. Um, not only teaching values uh, of sportsmanship, um, uh, resiliency, uh, commitment, uh, it was you also taught us how to win, what it took to be successful. And, and winning is, is critically important uh, if you're going to keep score, but it's how you win and you have to learn how to uh, win and you have to learn how to lose. But I think the most important thing um, that I can thank you for is that feeling of trust, uh, knowing that you do ca you cared, that you were there no matter what, your work ethic was tireless, and that uh, you uh, also had uh, the, the ability to rule with a firm and, and iron hand. Uh, again, at the time, it's never fun, and you don't agree, but in hindsight, uh, I appreciate that uh, so very much. Uh, and the other thing, Coach, uh, to it just didn't end. It just didn't end after graduation. Uh, your your family, my family. Uh, it, it goes from coach, mentor, teacher, uh, to friendship, and to long term relationships. And that's what I cherish the most. Uh, but what I have learned um, that when you hear the word uh, coach, or a phrase "thank you, coach," or "appreciate a coach," uh, it certainly does resonate, and it means an awful lot. It it, it truly is humbling. Um, I think it uh, is as close to hearing, uh, thank you, Mom, thank you, Dad. I appreciate it, Mom. I appreciate it, Dad. Um, so right now, I'm, the best way to, uh, to sign off is to say, thank you, Coach.